Hello and welcome. This is GM Talk, and we are back. Uh, this time with uh, an episode about the choice of openings. Which openings should you play? Should you play the Carocan, for instance? We have been looking a little bit about the, at the Carocan uh, in, at GM Talks, and um, because it's a good opening and uh, it's very solid and interesting and can lead to to all kind of uh, fast and forward and interesting play. Anyway, uh, the, one of the, the, the gurus in the Carocan is uh, the Danish Grandmaster Lars Schandorf. He wrote a fantastic book about the Carocan for the uh, publisher uh, Quality Chess with, with another Danish uh, guy, uh, uh, Jakob Ogard. Um, anyway, uh, Schandorf's book was was really uh, it sold very well, and I, I think he's he's probably updating it, and 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 it was 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 a very good one for people starting out in the Caro Can, but Sandov himself has not done so well uh, with the Caro Can, uh, and I'm going to show you a game uh, which explains why, and and this is. Uh, very important uh, concept that even if it's uh, you have good lines, you have a good opening, and you understand what you're doing, maybe the opening is not for you. And so here we have an example of the the, the man who wrote the Bible should switch religion. <laughs> if you <laughs> excuse my expression, we have. Um, I'm white. We are in the Danish Championship in Silkeborg 2009. Uh, and I play e4, he plays c6, like this. And we play the main line, takes, and bishop f5, and this is also in the book. And all these uh, are, are, are normal uh, moves. Uh, main line, h4, h6, f3, threatening knight e5, and queen h5. And knight d7 is, is uh, the most common response. h5, and, uh, and black has a, a, a very nice bishop on h7 so white exchanges and said okay i got h4 h5 uh, for free uh, but okay this pawn can be weak but sometimes it's nice to have it there and e6 and black has set up his uh, favorite uh, pawn structure with the uh, pawns on e6 and c6 and basically well if he can get away with c5 he will try and and, and um, play c5 to show you, but that's more or less the only thing black wants to do. Otherwise, he wants to play with the pieces, which makes the caro can a kind of an easy opening to learn because you just move around with the pieces. You don't have to uh, think about where to place your pawns because they remain put. So that's uh, one one thing for that's good for the caro can. Anyway, Sendov is uh, I've played Sendov many times. He's a strong grandmaster uh, and had. A, and in the beginning, I had bad results against him. Then they, they became better, uh, as I became better. But but in general, he uh, is kind of good in uh, in in sort of clear position where where you you know what you should do and you should calculate. I think he probably calculates better than me, uh, at least at least as good. Uh, but he's not so good at changing pace uh, in the game, and he's not good at creating. Uh, uh, complications and so on. He, he liked to. He sometimes when he's he's wide and plays too safely, it will just be a draw without a fight. And and these things uh, usually don't happen if you have some. So he, he lacks the, the sort of dynamic gear. And and if you want to play the Carocan well, you need to have that. I think uh, he has done much better with with openings like. For instance, uh, the Sveshnikov Sicilian, where black get the bishop pair and pawn majority and on some weaknesses, but you know what you're doing and you have to calculate and, and, and create dynamics and you know you have to create dynamics. In the Caracan, you sort of, you say, ah, I have this nice structure. I don't have to do anything. I can just sit here and the ending will be nice and, and so on. Anyway, okay, bishop f4, preventing queen c7, queen a5 uh, was uh, popular at the time. I don't know, um, and c4, and queen c7, and usually white doesn't like to play c4, c2, c4, but it can be, of course, uh, be, be be good sometimes, uh, especially white, black castle, uh, queen side, because then you want to make an attack on the king, on, on the queen side, with the, and then you need the c pawn. But uh, in this line, black side here is not 
to castle queenside but to castle kingside which is a very very dynamic uh, way of playing the caravan and and nobody did this uh, before um, for some time ago that there, there was uh, every time they just tried to castle queenside try to exchange everything and make a draw in the ending uh, which they sometimes manage but but nowadays uh, this is how you play the caravan okay we have kings on opposite sides we need to to see what's going on there will be an attack there will be uh, th this will be a tough battle uh, you cannot sit here and hope for some slightly better ending this will be um, an interesting fight queen c2 i think uh, I, this was a recommendation of uh, cotronius at the time i'm not sure and uh, instead of came up with yet prepared this concept which is quite good i think h5 Black doesn't want to play c5 and give away because I will play d5 and play knight f5 and and, and get some some uh, momentum just sacrificing a pause. I can take back and h6 might be hanging and so on. And I was kind of lost here. I, I didn't know the position very well. Uh, I usually didn't play knight c3 and move three against the the Karakan. Uh, but I prepared uh, some Cotronius uh, things and of course he Shandov was better prepared. He was also uh, just wrote a book and. Um, so I played rook ace four, uh, taking control over f4, getting ready for bishop f4, and uh, and also this rook might might join the action somehow. Um, I thought this this looks, but he just keeps on going with that pawn, uh, which is a good good idea. And now comes a strong strong move, uh, which I didn't know. My idea is is basically to go, and we will have a very big attack very quickly against uh, black's king here comes uh, but black is not without chances b5 ooh, ooh. and it's a pawn sacrifice but it's a strong pawn sacrifice if i take that one he will go knight d5 and then he will well he it's not even a pawn sacrifice actually because if i take he just go knight d5 and he's threatening um the rook um so i can't take on c6 and when he moves the rook he takes back and has a great position where i have uh, this weak pawn uh, on on d4 uh, and uh, he will have attacking chances on the queen side and and there's nothing going on on the king side uh, with, without the queens so i decided to go c5 and just say okay enough of this nonsense you'll get the square d5 uh, and and then um that's that's fine with me and he played 95 and I, I don't think that's the best move i think i think that the situation at the moment is quite good for him so maybe he should just he want to prevent bishop f4 but the bishop is not doing much there so so i think he should just go maybe b4 sacrificing a pawn uh, no not sacrificing because i can't take it because of 95 b4 and then rook b8 and b3 or a3 or something but anyway he played 95 um and it's not bad of course i'm back here um and a3 this is was in, in part uh, the plan with the a4 a5 um a5 a4 um but maybe this the timing is not the best uh, and rook f8 and it's all probably okay for for black still uh, he has quite a solid position uh, white's king is not totally safe here at the moment uh, this bishop keeps the, the knight out uh, but but you just imagine one more piece uh, comes close to the king and, and and white will have serious trouble so i was a bit scared here uh, but okay i have to get going g4 nothing to do and plan is d5 and say okay i want to attack two e5 and uh, and i couldn't find a, a real good move here so i played um, i played rook d1 and here he made a mistake uh, i think he can probably play e4 because uh, if i take he takes on c5 and it's a disaster for me and 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 he will have to, i'll have to move the knight and then he will go uh, yeah you can do whatever it's 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 kind of unpleasant for 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 black uh, for for white and and it's even if i get d5 in i don't really want to exchange the black squared bishops because uh this would weaken these two squares um he took here 
and and this is a typical thing sort of okay uh, symmetrical position we will exchange a lot of uh, pieces and so on but it's a it's a mistake and uh, and it's a clear sign that that uh, the gentleman is, is not at home in this kind of position uh, because he, he usually doesn't make these kind of mistakes and and, and actually he, he loses quite quickly from here which uh, uh, in less in nine moves uh, he is he's totally lost for black and that's kind of uh, from and and the computer says that black has a, a clear advantage at this point uh, and and then after this white is is already having the fun and and black keeps he should should um, keeps on making mistakes bishop g5 makes no uh, and and just i get to play g5 without any kind of uh, well, he, he doesn't even prevent it in any way. And getting, uh, I get the square f5 for the knight now. And and of course h6 and g7 is, uh, uh, and and now the bishop can can come. And he takes, and this is not what you want to do. And here, king h8, and it's clear that uh, that we're only playing for if White's attack will will, will succeed. So, uh, what just a few moments ago, uh, White had no attack, and uh, and Black was had made big progress on the queen side, and now it's already uh, White who's attacking and uh, and and does a, a better job of it. Uh, getting ready. Just and here uh, important move. Queen c1 is maybe the most uh, the best, but here's a little trick um, to notice. When you're attacking, you want to put your queen on the same color as Black's king because then you double the number of checks you have, and you can check that. And, and here, just and this was basically the idea. You cannot take, then it's made in one, and of course now the king is completely lost. Uh, and 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 black sort of played in the center tried to centralize and white just built a winning attack without much resistance here and boom and oh yo, yo, it's bad right f5 and and we just need one more precise move here um and i think that uh, i i talked to, to to lars because i'm also the national coach and uh, of course i want him to do well especially when he plays for denmark and i said that he should not play the Karakan because uh, he, he's he's much better when he's playing uh, different kind of openings uh, that he, he seems not to bring the best out of him uh, even though he wrote the best books doesn't mean that he's uh, the best player in this kind of position and i think he agrees but um maybe uh, he's, he's he's also a very stubborn guy and very principles so it's not so easy anyway this was um so once in a while it goes back for black in the caravan this was one of the times i hope you enjoyed the video